Hey babes, welcome back to Love Milani. It's your girl Anastasia Milani and we're back with another video. Yes, sir. We are back, y'all. Hi. So we are back with a another video like i said i'm so excited because today i'm doing a black business owner black business owner black business designer black designer i'm doing a black designer um purse review or first impressions whatever you want to call it y'all so really i have already did this video once y'all and i really put like my heart and soul into that okay my heart and soul and when i went back to look at the video i noticed that i'm literally looking like past the, the camera like I'm my whole the whole time my eyes were like looking this way and I'm like bro I can't put that out like information is good that I'm giving energy is great but the whole time I'm like looking somewhere else so I had to scratch that video it hurt my heart but I had to scratch that video and I was like it's okay it's okay it's okay we're not gonna keep a player down and I'm going to get this video out for this black designer so that's what we're doing here today. I'm doing the Brandon Blackwood ESR tote. And I noticed like there's not a lot of videos on it. Like I don't know if it's underrated, slept on or what, but it's not a lot of videos on it. So I wanted to for sure get the video out y'all. So obviously it's not gonna be like a first time type video, first impression unboxing because I've already looked at it and literally did a thorough review on it. But I still wanted to, you know, show y'all the bag and give him his props and whatnot and let you know my pros and cons of the bag and yeah so let's not ramble too much y'all please make sure to like comment and subscribe below i would love to have your input and y'all we almost at 100 subscribers y'all <laughs> like i'm almost at 100 subscribers like that's so exciting i'm so appreciative of you guys and let's keep writing it up family so without further ado let's get right into the video okay guys here is the bag or the duster bag that it comes in um i will say these bags don't come in his like boxes he does have like the brandon blackwood decor boxes like you know like a chanel box something like that um these bags don't come in those boxes but they do come in the duster bags which y'all know i love a good duster bag okay if y'all see my previous um Telfizi review Y'all know I get excited about a good duster bag. So it says Brandon Blackwood Foundation on the front. And let's get this bad baby out of here. Oh, hold on. Trying to be cute. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to get it. Oh, shovel, yeah. Um, so this is the purse, guys. It's like a mini tote bag. As you can see, it's jean or jean. It's denim. Um, material and it does say in systemic racism on the front these bags are from his Brandon Blackwood foundation line um, so not his normal collection bags he actually did these bags I want to say in 2020 from like the research I seen or what people are saying like he brought these bags out in 2020 and I, I don't know if that's when he started his foundation as well but he brought these bags out in 2020 and they sold out um completely and then he re does not redesigned but he like re kind of structured some of the bags and the quality and things and brought them back out in november of 2022 and he has so many colors and his bags are made with different materials right so again these bags being a part of his foundation i think 100 percent of the profits go to his foundation um these are like repurposed materials and things like that so this is like recycled denim and then he has bags made with like apple vegan leather um canvas he uses different materials to make these bags um and that's why they're able to be so affordable all these bags are $88 y'all $88 and if y'all know Brandon Blackwood and his bags like they run for like $250 and up his you know famous um trunk bags i think they're called kendrick trunk bags i'll put a picture over here those run i think starting at 250 or 200 something like that so his bags are they're luxury right they're they're luxury um bags so for him to do like this esr toe line and make affordable bags and affordable things i think he has more things coming from what i've seen on his instagram these won't be the only things a part of his foundation um 
collection or line. Um, he also had these ESR tote like vases I seen on his um, on his page, and they're like sold out. I don't, I think they're sold out. Um, but those are really dope. I also put those right here so y'all can see them. So I'm going to get into the bag a little bit now. Like I said, these are all $88 with tax and shipping. I want to say I spent like low 100, like $108 maybe, something like that. Um, and I got my bag in two weeks. Again, y'all, I ordered this bag. Okay. A little transparency. So I was supposed to have been did this video right i've been having this bag for like three months now i ordered this bag in early december um and i got it before like christmas and the holidays and all that and i had it sitting here like just waiting for me to do a review i didn't want to use it i didn't want to do anything until i reviewed it but you know life be life and things be happening so I'm happy to now be able to do this video and I'm happy to know that his shipping went during the holidays like during the madness and all that it still got here like in two weeks so shout out to you Brandon and I think it's, it came from New York so yeah I appreciate that so I got the um recycled denim color is this called recycled denim or it's just called denim. I'm not sure. I got the denim bag, right? Because he has this one and then he has a dark denim bag. So I'm not going to lie. I took the purse out the duster bag. I was kind of looking like, did he send me the wrong? Did he send me the wrong purse? Because I feel like it was really dark for it not to be the dark denim purse, right? But um, after further review, this is not the dark denim one. This is just the denim. The dark denim one must be like damn near black. Because this is pretty dark to me. But once i got over that um i love i love it it's so cute it's so structured as you can see this is without any stuffing in it it holds its shape it has the four pegs on the bottom um so i so i think this is great attention to detail for the bag to only be 88 dollars for them just to add that little detail so it can sit up on the table the hardware is gold but it's not like you know how like some hardware is like that cheap looking gold where it's like yellow gold or like too shiny this is like a nice gold color right it's a nice gold it's like almost like a dull like a dull gold but and almost kind of like antique but not like that not that deep in antique <laughs> but um yeah and to me it's pretty spacious for it to be like a mini bag it's pretty spacious in the inside there we go. So as you can see, it does have like a little flap right in here. So you can put like your phone or like your cards, something like that in there. And then it also has the flap here to go ahead and close it with the button, okay? One of my favorite things about this purse is the contrast he did. So he didn't do the whole purse denim. The main part of the purse, is denim yes but the handles are like this blue navy blue um like leather it's probably apple leather um material and then so is the flap it's the same so i love that i think that makes the purse even more like fashion fashiony <laughs> um i love the contrast of the denim with the blue leather i think it looks so cute and so good and then the tag on there just says recycled denim okay so that is the let me put you back in here babes so yeah so it has the top handle the leather top handle um but that's not it as y'all can see the side has hooks on it for a reason so hold on hold on oh look it has a whole detachable strap to the baby okay it has a detachable strap and it's like a belt it has like the you know, little thing thing with the different holes to make it longer or shorter. So crossbody, or if you want to wear it on your arm, it's all up to you. And let me hook this y'all. Oh, and this is in like the, uh, the leathery like material. So again, I think that's fire. Let me hook it and show y'all. This is for the Nick, strictly for the Nick. <laughs> I love that TikTok. Okay, y'all, here's it with the strap. It is so 
freaking cute. I'm going to put it across my body so you guys can see better. But it is so cute. Like, this is how I will wear it. Um, if I was out, like, shopping or, like, I knew I had, like, a lot of errands to run, I probably would wear it across my body with the um, strap. But if it was just, like, a little cute fit little situation and I'm just being cute, I would wear it still with the strap. But, like, with um, me holding, like, the strap to where, like, kind of overlaps each other. I think that's really cute. So, y'all... $88, you cannot beat this. This is a great gift for your, you know, homegirl, your sister, your mama, whoever. Um, it's a great gift. And I love it. I really don't have any cons for it, honestly. Um, only thing I would say is that I wish it had like Brandon Blackwood's name on there because like <laughs> I'm just that type of girl. Um, but I get it. It is, you know, an $88 tote and he has plenty other bags like his normal trunks and no normal bags they do have brendan blackwood like right here um but i get it and the girls that get it will get it like when a girl that gets it sees you with this bag they'll understand they, they already know you feel me and that's who we do it for we do it for the girls that get it so <laughs> um yeah y'all this is the purse let me show y'all like if i was to put a water bottle in here so the water bottle fits nicely like you could put your water bottle your wallet because i always keep like some water with me right so it's like not going to fall out or anything like that like it's high enough it's not going to fall out so you can run around with your water bottle and you still have plenty if i can show y'all hold on hold on you still have plenty of room in there so um y'all don't sleep on these bags these bags are really cute um really affordable and he's a young black designer so we we i see you brandon i see you and he has plenty of other things too guys if you go to his website he has outerwear um he's coming out with shoes he is doing his damn thing okay he's a designer period he does gowns and he just He's so dope, okay? Yeah, guys, that's my review on the Brandon Blackwood ESR tote. If you haven't already checked him out, please do. I'm going to leave his information here below as well. If you guys have his bags, let me know what you guys think. Are they worth the hype or what? I think they are, y'all. They're spreading a great message and the profits are going to his foundation. So mess with these bags, you guys. I definitely will be purchasing more of these ESR totes. And also, I want to grab his trunk bag or the, he has like a bamboo bag that is fire as well. So yeah, I'm a happy girl, happy black girl. <laughs> But thank you guys for watching. I definitely appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed my review. I will talk to you guys soon. Again, don't forget to leave your comments. I love seeing your guys' comments. Comments below. Put a like if you can. And make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.